Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of We Bowling Over Here. We Bowling Over Here, sponsored by Agari TV. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button. I appreciate all of y'all. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you checking out my videos. I appreciate you commenting. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. With that said, yeah, yeah, the vibe's a little different today, huh? Uh, oh yeah, I'm talking to you though. You in particular. What up? What up? Keep the same energy, huh? I thought you said to trade Pascal. I thought you said we didn't need him. I thought you said we were better without him. Huh? Huh? Where's that energy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like how this feel. My last video, I said, yo, Raptors fans, don't panic. Not time to panic. Come on, man. I know. I know. Okay, yes, 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 yes. It is just the Sacramento Kings who aren't even a playoff team who are currently sitting 12th in the West. I, I know. I get it. I get it. I get it. But the idea is it starts somewhere. I remember when Pascal came back, I said, you know what? Let's give him 10 games. 10 games. Let's see how he does. Let's give him the opportunity to, you know, develop back his rhythm, get back into the flow of things. And, hey, last time I checked, just last time, you know, last time I seen Pascal play, he dropped 32 points, 8 rebounds. Eh, a little quiet night on the assist, but gave a 1 assist. You know, that's the last time I seen him play. I don't know. You tell me, you you you, you want to trade a guy that shot nine for nine from the th from the free throw line, and I got a shot ten for twelve from the um, field from the field overall, three for three from the three point line. That's that's the last time I seen Pascal play. You 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 want to trade that away? When was the last time you watched Pascal play? Hmm hmm hmm. Yeah yeah, because that's what I saw last time I seen Pascal play, and I ain't trying to get rid of that. So all them Pascal hating people out there, that game was dedicated to you. Pascal, I'm going to say it for you. What did, what did he say last night? I, I need to love myself a little more. I need to, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to, like, take it easy on yourself. You know, you take it easy on yourself. You, you too, yeah. If you got a whole bunch of people on Twitter going crazy at you and then you're difficult on yourself, it's just, uh, you know what? I, I'm I'm happy for Pascal. He needed a game like this. It was great for the Raptors to finally get out of that losing streak, and it was just a good team effort. You know, um, yes, again we are missing OG and Anobi. Hopefully, get soon, get well soon. You know, OG, we still need you. Don't feel like we're disrespecting you. Don't feel like you're just out of sight, out of mind. No, no, no. We know you there, OG. We know you coming. We know you come back even better, and. Just can't wait. So, but get healthy because we have a long season, a long season, including playoffs ahead of us. So, we're going to need you. Don't forget that part, including playoffs. So, like I've been saying from the jump, who said this ain't a playoff team? You? You? Well, they aren't at the moment, but the idea is that we see that they have the potential and they're working and, and figuring it out. You know, it's better to figure it out at some point they're not figured out and i believe they will figure it out so i'm looking forward to that raptors great game you know wire to wire just held it down um their defensive presence was all over the kings just like couldn't they couldn't really score they only scored 89 points and like that's not average in like a regular nba game nowadays you know with all the threes being taken and all that so we really we really held it down defensively and i'm very proud of the raptors defensive efforts um all in all i also want to big up some other players gary trent came out gary trent's been very consistent you know um i really do think that we might have to give him a little bit more leeway allow him to really develop more he probably has to even get some plays drawn up for him um you know i'm, I'm really liking what i'm seeing from gary trent the defense is top notch as always you know uh trying to lead the league in steals and he's really growing he's growing we we you see when the trade happened i think we forgot that norman is a little older and uh he's had a bit more experience and gary was coming up but he's not had the experience that um norman norm powell has had so it's it's kind of good to see him starting to fall into his own 
you know, becoming that player that um, that that we thought we were getting. And I'm really liking what's happening with Gary Trent Jr. He's the projection is up on up. Um, Fred Van Fleet, you know, uh, just a quiet game. You know, Fred came out, did his thing, uh, but not not really the 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 the. the, the biggest game for Fred, but his plus minus was 23. You know, he, he did a really good job. Same with uh, Gary Trent. His plus minus was 23. Fred Van Fleet, I like the fact of him not dribbling up the ball sometimes. I do like him playing like a Steph Curry off ball. You know, a few times you are going to be our point guard, but I do like the idea of him running off screens because Fred is a good shooter. And as he said himself, he considers himself a good shooter. So we want to use that to our advantage. And if Fred can create that type of law, um, Steph Curry kind of effect where he's garnered that much respect. People will definitely gravitate to him, which will then open up the floor for other players. So I do want to see the Raptors use that a bit more. I'm looking forward to seeing that. That's always a good thing. All in all, man, this video is just for those that doubted Siakam, man. Where you at now, man? Where you at? I thought you, I thought you wanted him gone. Some of y'all might still want him gone, but I'm going to show you why some of us believe that he should be staying. Because these type of efforts, we know it's possible. Yes, the field goal might not be so high, but then again, you can ask the Warriors game one hmm, hmm, when he dropped that 32. So we've seen Pascal do this before, and uh, now we can say we've seen him do it as the man. You know, I will say after the there was an interview that he did last night, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I... I don't know how to really describe it as right now, but like I just don't want him to take on that pressure of continuously reminding or speaking on it as in, this is my team, this is my team, I'm the man for the team, I'm the leader. I'm, you know, sometimes those things are things that you just do naturally. You know, you, you, you use the word team and just understand that you are a vital part of the team. But when you're claiming, I'm... You know, it doesn't, it doesn't, to me, to me, it doesn't really come off well, especially when you have teammates, young players such as Scotty Barnes, you got Fred Van Fleet trying to carve out his niche, you got Gary Trent trying to carve out his niche. For you to consistently refer to the team as if, like, it's yours and you're the man and all that, it kind of rubs things a little wrong. So that's the only little nitpick I would say. But other than that, man, this video, okay, this video is dedicated to them Pascal haters. What up? What up, Pascal haters? Keep hating. Keep dropping 32 on you. Mm. <laughs> Man, it was a great game. It was entertaining. It was good to see Pascal bounce back. And all in all, we just got to give him his credit where it's, his credit is due. Because, you know what? We've, we've fans, I've kind of, myself, doubted. Didn't maybe give him the full opportunity he deserved. And it was great to see him finally live up to that. So, Pascal, big up yourself. Raptors, let's go, let's go, let's go. We have a big game Sunday against Golden State Warriors. Let's put them on notice. Even though Steph is my favorite player, we still going to put them on notice, all right? Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button because we bowling over here.